Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. Um, today I wanted to do a bit of a tutorial about uh, how to put pedals on and take them off. I know for many maybe it's simple, uh, but for some, uh, and I include myself, I can never, or I used to be uh, never able to remember which way to take them off. So as you can see there on the floor, I have a, a, a normal road pedal and I've got an 8mm Allen key there as well. And with road pedals, the actual back of the pedal here is 8mm. Uh, but with uh, mountain bike pedals, they're 6mm. The reason, uh, I can't say I know, but if anybody does, I'd appreciate that. Why there is just not one standard for all pedals. But anyway, it is what it is, and so I'm fitting road pedals to my road bike. And as you can see, the crank now is at 3 o'clock, and these things are supposed to, or I think will help you to remember. So on the drive side, the chain side here, as you can see, um, when it's at 3 o'clock, if we take the pedal, we can turn it clockwise at 3 o'clock. You know, like that. And always do it with your hand first, because if you do it with a tool, you could cross-thread it. So now I can feel that biting already. It's already biting in there. And I could keep doing that with my hand forever until it tightened up. But, you know, you can just put an Allen key in the back there and do it very, very quickly. And so there we are. There we are. That's done. Obviously, you'd want to give it a bit of a tighten as well. And so we are tightening toward the end of the crank arm here. So that's all you need to remember. So once, once you remember that, that you need to tighten it clockwise and towards the end of the crank arm, uh, then you will always remember how to take it off as well. So that one is on. And if I wanted to take it off, I uh, just anti-clockwise now away. Yeah, so away from the end of the crank arm. And then you can take it off like that very, very easily and very quickly. Obviously, I have not tightened them very tight. If they're tighter, then you're going to have a bit of a struggle. Uh, so that's the drive side. And let me just turn the bike around and then we'll have a look at the non-drive side. And here we are guys, I've turned the bike around now and as you can see it's the non-drive side and you can see that the crank arm is facing at the 9 o'clock position. So to put the pedal on, again we want to tighten toward the end of the crank arm, so this way. So this time it will be anti-clockwise, yeah? And again, just do it with your fingers first, otherwise you, like I say, you could cross thread it. And there, already, she's already bitten, she's on. And then the Allen key, just to finish it off, and again, you'd want to tighten it a bit more than that. So, in my mind, this is the only way that I've been able to remember it, and hopefully it can help somebody else uh, to remember it as well. I know there's a, there's a lot of new people coming to the sport, so I'm hoping that this kind of thing will help them. And if you want to take it off, Allen key in the back, and this time clockwise at the nine o'clock position. So now we're going clockwise. And there we are, off. R really quick, really simple. So the way I've been able to remember it is by thinking about the drive side, the three o'clock position. And then you want to turn it clockwise towards the end of the, the crank arm. And then on the non-drive side, you want to have the crank at the 9 o'clock position. And then you want to turn it again to the end of the crank, but this time anti-clockwise. And so, like I said, I hope it helps you guys. Uh, certainly help me to remember. And once you know how to, you know, which direction they go on, then it's so much easier to remember how to take them off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.